Farmers are being asked to grow more food on less acres with soils that are often depleted. In this episode, we will learn how organic farmers are relying on age-old techniques and new technologies to accomplish this without sacrificing the sustainability we have enjoyed for centuries. There's a lot of research out there about soil health and a ton of technical information, but none of it does us any good unless we can see how it actually takes place at the ground level. My name is Tim Hamrich from the Future of Agriculture podcast. Cool Planet and I are gonna travel the country and capture stories about how land stewards and growers and farmers are actually developing their own soil health and how that impacts their lives and the food they're growing for you. This week's episode takes us to Hollister, California, where I met up with Don Perry, organic specialist for the JR Simplot Company. Introduce us to this area that we're standing in right now, this area of California. What's uh, What should we know agriculturally about this particular area? It's uh, the heartland of the organic movement. This is where it all started along the Central Coast, San Juan Batista area. Salinas, uh, Hollister area was, uh, was the kickoff point. Uh, it was before organics were popular or well known, this is where it all began. In the context of soil and soil health, what have you noticed in your time kind of serving farmers about their perspective on soil health? We've lost a lot of our topsoil in the United States to a soil erosion. And, and a lot of the remaining topsoil is depleted, so it needs to be it needs to be worked with. You know, cover crops, for example, are really important. Uh, rotations are really important. But it all begins with the soil. It, it's where everything begins. The water is second, and after that, it's the markets that will uh, allow you to plant whatever needs to be planted. But, but the, it all starts with the soil. What types of tools do they have available to, to build that soil, especially if it's been depleted? On the organic fertilizer side, on the, on the crop nutrition side, they have come a long way since I first started in this many years ago. There, there are a lot of rules and regulations that the USDA has put in, into place for organic growers. You cannot use raw manures and there's specifics for composting and there's specifics for the type of proteins that you can use in crop nutrition. So you can't just throw it into a reactor and react a bunch of chemicals and get a nice big slug of organic fertilizer. That's what the conventional side does. And so you have to forecast and plan and anticipate what your needs are going to be. And as this market grows, that will be even more important. For the, for the organic grower, he realizes all these things. And the crops using these type of materials grow at a slower pace, which is good in that you, you have a thicker cell wall for, for lettuces, for example, where you have a higher quality lettuce. And that's, that's for the consumer. And nowadays, they want high quality and they want it organic. As far as building soil health specifically, I know you mentioned a nutrition program. Uh, does Simpla offer specific products both for conventional and organic as far as building soil health long term? Yes, yes. And a couple that come to mind are 828. It's our specialized biostimulant product. And it has shown very good results in building the root system of, of plants. We have some other technologies that we share with other companies, such as one company called Cool Planet, which puts out a product called Cool Terra which is a biochar product which houses the bacteria in the soil so that it's more protected and more available to the plant, which is key to, to any plants overcoming stress. You've been in agriculture 30 plus years. As you look 30 years from now, how will agriculture maintain the sustainability that it's maintained up to this point in the next 30 years? We have an ever increasing population. Uh, we have to grow more food on less acres with uh, soils that are being depleted. So we have a big job in, in keeping those soils healthy. So our development process is key. Technology is gonna be everything in the future. From development to monitoring to harvesting, organics and technology I would say are the two leading building blocks for our culture. 